Hi, I'm getting ready to send things out for the holidays, and there's different ways to do that. You can do them bright. You can do them in recycled containers. I'll show you how. Join us. Hi, this is Tweak. It's time to start mailing things to family and friends that you may not be able to be with this Christmas. And I want to give you some ideas about how to send things through the mail that might be a little more fun than you're used to. For instance, recycled containers. Check that out. I use two liter bottles, pop bottles, and I put a tote bag in there. It's great. I use boxes. I like to take the boxes and wrap them in paper and then cover them in tape. And guess what? I delivered mail for 30 years and this added some fun to any delivery day when you got something pretty like this. We'd show them to each other and go, ooh, look what I've got. I've got parcels here that are just fancified. See? I just took some fabric that I had and attached it. And it's just, just a really fun way to send something along, especially when you can't be with them. This one here looks like it's suspended. And that's the one I want to show you today. I showed you the two two liter bottles. You cut them off and put them together. Um, take any box that you're sending and cover it in wrapping paper. How fun, oh my gosh, it's so fun. And it's so much fun for them to receive it. Another good idea is to see what you've got kicking around the house. I think this was a pickle container. So what I'm going to do is add some tinsel. This will be for a little guy that I know. And I'll just throw in things that I think he likes. I'll throw in some jack straps for his mask. A little Santa. I'll throw in some crayons. And what's so neat about, ooh, there's a snowman. And how about this Santa too? And what you do is you end up putting a bunch of oddball things and just letting them lay in the container. And I think I'll throw a little more tinsel just to make it fun when they open it. And just let all this willy-nilly go in, put the lid on, and I will put some tape on it before I send it out with the label. Let me tell you, when a little kid gets this in the mail and they see all the stuff in it for them, that's as fun for me as a letter carrier as it is for the little kid that gets it. That is just really a fun thing if you want to send out something like that. These are juice jugs. I'm going to cut off the top, put them together, and I'll show you how. It becomes very perfect for mailing. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife carefully and get this started. And I'm going to choose a line right around the edge and I'm just going to poke the knife in and just gently come around. The plastic's easy to cut. Get rid of the exacto knife for now. And I'm going to take a scissors and just clean it up a little bit, just in case there's any sharp spots. I just let the scissors ride along the edge. And it feels good. There's one part. Let's do it again. And I'm going to push these two together and we're going to have a really neat mailing system. My two cranberry juice containers have now become parts of a parcel. They're going to go like that, except I have to put a few slices in one of them so it will scrunch in a little bit to fit. I go into each corner and just give a slice with your scissors. And what this does is it lets the one piece you can guide it in and it moves just a little bit to go into the other. Now before I push this down in because it gets real tight, I want to put what I want in there. And that's going to be, hmm, I think I'll send this music box that I made. And I used some bubble wrap. I laugh about this because I didn't intend for it to be what it ended up being which is, uh, looks like it's in suspended animation. It looks like uh, a thing that's just floating inside this plastic container. So a little bit of bubble wrap. I wrap this up. 
just very gently wrap it up and place it in. Now, sending this to my sister, I also put a note in there. Didn't have to tape or anything. And take the other part and put it over the top. Now, because you put those little slices in the corner, the bottom bends a little bit and gives. And then you just push this down. And look at that. So you end up with this box. It's really super safe as far as sending it through the mail. I mean, the postal elephant could smash on this and it would be just fine. But anyways, that's just a very fun way to send something to somebody you love, to recycle things, put them to good use, and there you go. And there you have it. Ways that you can brighten somebody's day, including your letter carrier. Think of the surprise when they can see into what's in there, the anticipation of getting that parcel. It makes it a lot of fun for them and a lot of fun for your letter carrier. Be kind to them. They work really hard. See you again.